Hi guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button um, and join the fam. We'd love to have you guys. And um, at, the be at the end of last year, when Maya and I sat down to decide about, you know, what we wanted to bring to you guys in 2023, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to kind of switch up on Mondays, like each week come up with something different per month. And so this segment came out of my curiosity, otherwise known as nosiness, um, for what people are actually cooking in the kitchen. I can't be the only person like that. You know, if a friend calls, we'll, we could be talking about something else and I'll say, let's take a commercial. What are you cooking for dinner? Um, and normally we'll laugh or, you know, and the, we'll just share because I don't know. I, I'm always interested in that. Nothing else, but just what you're cooking for dinner. I like to get ideas. So um, this segment is, you know, you can expect it on the third um, Monday of the month. Um, I'll gather information for you guys um, from all of you all uh, to see what you all have been cooking and what you've been using. Also, this information helps at the end of the year in terms of what items are the most used items and the ones that if someone was starting their collection or just starting out purchasing Le Crusade, this would be really helpful information, kind of um, statistics. Am I the only one who likes some sorts of statistics. Um, this is one statistic that I can get with, you know. Um, so, uh, you guys just did the most and it was fabulous. I was so excited. Uh, first things first, we are doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. Help us reach a thousand subscribers and we'll give one subscriber $100 gift card to LaCrusade.com. Maya is pushing me to give another gift card. We shall see about that. We shall see. Okay. So first things first, there were so many things that I gathered from the video, um, not just for myself, but when I added my what I was doing each, uh, for the month of February, I was like, oh wow, we're all doing similar things. First off, I just want to start this video off, video off by asking, how many of you all name your pans and pots? Oh my goodness. When I saw this, it gave me life. I was like, oh, I am not the only one who's like, you know, give me, um, <laughs> I don't know why, but a lot of my pots are named Jimmy. I really don't know why. <laughs> Jimmy and Susie. I don't know why, but it was nice to know that I am not the only person who names my pots, um, for sure. The other thing that I want to say is for some, um, viewers or subscribers, um, I, I cook, I absolutely do use my pans, honestly. Um, if you want evidence, stay tuned on Tuesdays. I'm, you know, I did not want this to be a cooking channel. Um, but on Tuesdays, what I'd like to do is showcase a pot that is being that I'm that is in heavy rotation for that week, um, and so that people can actually see um, these pots actually being used in real time. So um, Tuesdays videos are not necessarily like doing a chef thing or whatnot or cooking, but it is for someone to be able to get an idea of how that pan or pot is used on a regular basis. So just stay tuned for Tuesdays if you're looking to see if I use my pots or pans. Um, the next thing was um, we made a lot of soup in February. That was, I did a lot of, okay. So just so you know, I broke it down uh, with the Hubster's help uh, of statistics. <laughs> and we made a lot of soup. So, so I went through and tallied um, all of the items um, that everyone said they were making. So the vast majority of us in the month of February were still making lots of soup. And which was cool to know that, you know, I wasn't alone in doing all of this. So that was really fun. Um, and the next thing under soup was everybody was cooking with chicken. That's for sure. Now, I did not know this. It's nice to see what you guys are cooking. Um, in our family, we serve many different foods. Like when I cook, I make sure there's food for everyone to enjoy. So in our family, 
um, we have vegan, we have vegetarian, and we have people who eat chicken and fish. Uh, let me know if you all are interested in seeing a chicken or fish video. I, ha I do not mind making it because I do cook it for my family members who do eat it. You know, I cook for everybody. Um, I think that's like, you know, really good to be able to cook any, be able to make anything for anyone. That's, you know, that's, that's, you know, something that I really enjoy to be able to make something for everyone. For the vast majority of the time, you know, it's pretty much uh, vegetarian over here. Um, but I do, when my other adult children come home, you know, we make chicken and fish. So let me know if you like to see some of those videos. These are the items that were used most often in the month of February. So you have the um, non-stick, the Le Creuset non-stick frying pan. Then you had stove, five quart deep Dutch oven. Um, you had the Le Creuset essential oven. We had the signature round skillet. The, we had the signature round grill skillet. Um, we had the five quart round Dutch oven. Um, yeah. And that's what we had. So just so you know, so I'm going to pop up some pictures here. If you are interested in the 3.5 brazier on sale for $249 at QVC, the colors available are Cool Mint and Oyster. Um, and then you can just purchase at regular price over at lecrusade.com if you're looking for a, um, a 3.5 quart brazier. Um, that was one of the heavily used in the month of February. We're not done with the month of February, by the way, but this so far, this is what everybody's been using. So the signature round grill skillet, you can find over at, um, you can find over at Sur La Tabla. Let me look up this picture. The La Creuset Bistro Grill is 12.5 inches in diameter and it's $129.96 and there are seven colors available if you are interested in the round bistro grill skillet. Up next, we have the round Dutch oven. It is currently $420 for the five quart. So if you're looking for the five quart, go to lacrusade.com and the round Dutch oven, five quarts, five and a half quarts is $420. Not on sale currently, but you can get the wide round Dutch oven on William Sonoma. It's six and three fourths quart for $279. That's on my wish list. So I've been keeping an eye on that one. Um, and then the other most used was the deep Dutch oven. There are quite a few colors still available um, and it is still on sale for $200. And then last but not least, I'm looking at my handy dandy laptop, is the Sawtoost, otherwise known as the essential oven, which is $315, but it is not available. It's completely sold out. Now, drum roll please for the most used item for the month of February, the most used Le Creuset item for the month of February da -da 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 was, surprise, the Essential Oven, the Sawtooth. It is currently sold out uh, in every color. Um, I checked William Sonoma. I checked Sir La Tabla. It's just not available. If you see it available, please leave that in the comments below. We'll really appreciate that. But how many of you, of you guys are surprised? A lot of people are using their essential ovens. So um, if you're wondering what the essential oven is, it's kind of like half the size of your uh, five quart Dutch ovens is three and a half quarts. Um, you know, if you're looking for something simple, making one pot meals, the essential oven is going to be right up your alley. Um, you can make um, small batches of pasta sauce. You can make your chili in it. Um, I, you know, you know, I, I have that. I have it. Um, that, but I, that wasn't one that I chose this month for me. The one that was most used here was the deep Dutch oven. 
Um, but I was surprised too. This essential oven took the month of February. So let's give it up for the essential oven. It was essential in the month of February. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, expect this uh, each month. I thought it was really fun. Uh, let's see what we all get up to cooking in the month of March, most definitely. Um, and I've been taking it down, writing it down because I think it's so much fun and I'm so glad to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think of this segment in the comments below. I uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys make this so much fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!